Morning traders, and this is your day trade setup for the DAX today. Um, last week's, the last four days of last week, look how the sellers are stepping in here. And um, just look at this, all these tails. Okay, tail, tail, tail. Um, this is a, a picture of sellers that are scaling in. Okay, this pin bar is also a pretty worrying signal, and uh, especially because it's on the daily. The fact that we gapped down and then engulfed it doesn't really mitigate it just yet. It uh, just means that the, the bears are still trying very hard to defend this level. Okay, and that's 12600, which was a previous fractional break here. I'm not entirely convinced that this is going to hold. Okay, um, let's just get down to what we can trade today. So looking at the three hour, that does not look pretty at all. Okay. Look at what we've got. It's got a high, higher high, higher high, lower high. Okay, that is a head and shoulders. Okay, we've got inside bar, um, engulfing bar, pin bar, uh, inside bar. Uh, we've got another pin bar here with confirmation. Now, that is not a pretty signal. Okay, so if we move down to the time frame that we're going to trade, uh, you can see on the hour, it's a break of the alligator, a retest, another retest, okay? So I'm not really interested in getting into a trade in this area. So anything between sort of um, to the upside, 12.695 and 12.600 is really messy, okay? So the politics that are going on around Brexit, is going to affect us today again. So there's a whole lot of noise, and I mean, I'm not going to elaborate on that stuff now, but uh, between Boris and Trump at the moment, uh, I don't know what the world's coming to, but anyway. So there is an issue here with Brexit, and uh, I think it's going to drive the market, and it's going to be volatile. So the, for me, the question is whether we get below 12,600 or we get above um, 12,695. Okay, so that's a 100 point pretty much range that we're stuck in at the moment. If we just look at the 30 minute, you can see the same picture here on Friday. Uh, through the alligator, back down through the alligator, back up against the alligator. The only thing that I do see here on the 30 is that this fractal break, if we get it, of 12.659 would be a valid long signal. I know there's a couple of things about this. Uh, firstly, it is a double bottom. Which would take us to that area there. And there was some action here previously. I just want to see on a higher time frame. What is there? That's a previous high. No inside tail there. Let's just do this on a daily as well. Uh, no, nothing much, just a lot of congestion. Okay, so that kind of um, well, the structure that I can see. So if we do break, and we're going to come down to 12 minutes now for this. So you can see we've had we've got this pretty solid level here. We bounced off twice and then we closed above it. So that could be indication of a close. But um, so my advice today really is you're going to be sculpting. So you're going to be looking for 12, even a five-minute chart. Um, if you've got the patience for that. And uh, what you're looking for is let that first hour of um, pre-market get through. And then at 9 o'clock European time, just wait for whatever break we're going to have. If it's a break to the downside or to the upside, and then take that trade. If it's the downside, I suspect this level that here will be defended first, 12,600. So that would be give us a, a target. We do have gaps here as well. There's one there, there's one there. Um, inside bar, oh, sorry, in, 
an attempt at a piercing pattern, that's at a piercing pattern there with a reversal. And we have close above us. So this double bottom is potential, but you'd want to see a break above this level and hold. Okay, 12, 6, 5, 6, or 12, 6, uh, 12, 6, 60. Is you really want to see defended. You can see we do have a an alligator break. We're above the alligator at the moment, so it is possible. There are a couple of signals here. The structure is here for a long, but uh, with the politicians at play, uh, I'd just be very cautious. Okay. Okay, so those are the two fractional breaks you're looking for. To the downside, uh, 12, 6, 4, 4, and then you would expect these gaps to close at least, and then potentially the bottom that hits. If we move to the upside, then you're looking at 12, 700 area. Uh, but just look to the left here, there's a lot of congestion here, so you could get ambushed in this area as well. Okay, so whatever you do, keep those stops really tight and pay attention on the lower time frames, what's on your left, because the bigger picture is not a pretty one. Okay, we are in a range at the moment with a potential head and shoulders pattern brewing. Okay, so you want to keep it tight, your stops really tight and you want to be sculpting basically inside this range. Anything towards the top of the range, you want to be selling. And bear in mind, looking to left, this is the top of the right shoulder. Okay. Anything close in this area could warrant a pullback. Okay. Um, I just want to quickly just see what's happening on futures. I know the US futures is up. Um, the DAX futures is flat. They're pretty flat at the moment. Okay. So let's just close off with the Ichimoku and we want to be on the hour. Let's close that so we can see what's going on. Okay, so from an hour perspective, we have had a crossover. We have broken through price. Okay, and we have a twist. Okay, that's three bearish signals. So my view is pretty much still the same. Be very cautious. You may get a bit of a pullback, but I somehow doubt it. I have a feeling what's going to happen here is we're going to line up there and there, and that's going to be our flat bottom triangle. Okay, so I'm going to just ignore this peak here. So there's one, two touches, three touches almost. So even if we do get a pullback, I suspect some action in this area. Okay, before another pullback to the bottom of the cloud, and I do expect a bit of a bounce back, probably back up in this area before another attempt through. But you've got three bearish signals. Okay, Kijinson, Tickinson pointing down, oscillator coming back up to the cell area. We've got a twist, and we've got a breakthrough of price here for Chiku Span. So that's, that's a pretty... Um, bleak picture. Okay, from a four-hour perspective, we are in between kids and Tigginson. That is range. We've got flat cloud, which is range. Okay, so a break below this area that's going to validate the head and shoulders, and it's going to give us a fairly decent target as well. Um, a little bit conservative here. And I would actually first look at this gap close before looking for measured moves. So here's the swing high, plus there's a gap here. Okay, so this area of 12,493 is what I'd be looking at. Looking at the daily, you can see we are far from Kingston and Tiginson, so I would expect some kind of a pullback. Okay, and if you look at the level I've drawn in, 12, 4, 3, 3, that's the area that you'd be looking to see whether we can get long again. Okay, so that's my view at the moment. Um, is looking like uh, a short brewing. Uh, on the lower time frames, there is potential for a double bottom here, but you've got a trend line, you've got trend line resistance above it as well, and you've got a sort of a breakout retest as well. So. Uh, anything in this area here, I think I'd actually uh, not think uh, uh, that's my plan at the moment is to look for a short from 12.670 with a stop above 
12700 that's a 30 point stop loss that's a nice that's a reasonable risk okay anyway guys that's it for me today hope it helps and uh we'll catch up with you later cheers for now